This is Cammy Frog Legs. I'm going to make another video about boot camp. Um, boot camp week two. Um, there was a lot more stuff that went on in week two, which is good. Um, so we got our second uniform issue in week two, which is your dress uniforms, all, all three sets. You get two sets of whites, a set of uh, blues, and then you get your service uniform and you get two sets of those. Um, those are the peanut butter ones, you know, looks like a peanut butter top, and um, they're black slacks. Um, I'll do a video where I model the, the different uniforms so that you can see kind of what they look like. Um, there have been some changes for the females um, recently as far as uniforms and what we wear and what we don't wear. Um, so you get all the stuff issued for that. Caps covers, things that cover your head, uh, the socks that go with each one, you get your shoes for those, um, any belts, things that you may need. Um, what else? You have a lot more classroom training. You do things, I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly what classes we went to and I didn't write it down, um, but you take a lot of classes, you sit there and you, you have, they give you the training guide. And you take a lot of notes, so make sure you don't fall asleep. It's they they will get on you, and they will tell your RDCs, and you will get in trouble. Um, so don't fall asleep. Make sure you have water. If you need to fall asleep or something, or feeling sleepy, stand up in the back of the classroom. You have been warned. Um, during your second week, you have your first uh, dynamic material inspection, which is basically they time test to make your rack or fold your clothes uh, so make sure you know how to fold your blue t-shirts you know how to fold your NWU blouse and pants you know how to make your rack properly um, make sure you know if you don't know then you better figure it out very quickly um, you also have your first computer-based test um, test one wasn't all that hard it was actually pretty easy. I got a 4.2 out of 5 on my first test. Um, just make sure you're studying, make sure you're reading. If you're a highlighter, then highlight. If you're a note taker, take a lot of notes. Like my RDC opened my training guide one day and she's like, damn, a lot of notes. But I passed every test. So um, do what you need to do to make sure you're passing. Um, for PT, they said we were going to PT every day, but it was more like every other day. Um, we had in-house PT, and then we'd go to Freedom Hall, which is the gym on base, um, where you would do like rear running exercises. If you needed strength and conditioning, that was your in-house, where they did push-ups and sit-ups, things like that, So, um, which was cool. And then you also did bases, which is basically uh, a circuit of different exercises which was pretty fun um, you had the firemen that you had to carry so a guy on a stretcher for you know if there were a minute was it three minutes I think it was three minutes per station and so you'd have to carry that man for three minutes or you'd have to jump through the rings for three minutes or do some dips for three minutes you know they had different things set up so it was really cool workout that I only got to do one time. Um, it's supposed to be every Saturday throughout the entirety of boot camp. But as a 900 division, as you know, we didn't get to do that. We, we missed out on a lot of stuff that we didn't get to do because we were a 900 division. Um, but the PT is designed to keep, you know, to take a person who was a couch potato and take them into, turn them into a basically trained sailor. So, um, you know, the running you know, I shaved off six or seven minutes off of my run. Like the first PT test I did, I didn't even pass. Like I didn't even finish the run. Um, and then the second time I passed, I only had to do my mile and a half in 16 minutes, eight seconds. I did it in 15.37. And then the third PT test, I failed it anyway. Um, but I still passed the run with 15. Oh seven. So, you know, I've steadily shaved off time every time I ran. Um, so then, 
I didn't talk about evening routine in the week one, but every night, an hour before bed, you have what's called evening routine. And they can't take it away. Just, um, they did it to us once because everyone decided they wanted to go to chapel during the week and we wanted, we needed to pass our drill inspection. So they took away our um, evening routine that day. So just be mindful um, that they that they don't have to give you evening routine, which is your time. They can take away that time. Um, but evening routine, you can shine your boots, you can dress down into your sweatpants, you can let your hair down within 15 minutes of taps, um, fold your laundry, put your laundry away, you can study, you can iron. It's pretty much like holiday routine, except it's only an hour. Um, the only thing you can't do is shower if you've already showered. So, um, so I looked forward to that time because it was a time that I was like alone. I kind of went off by myself and just did me. Um, you have visits to the next, so you can get shampoo and conditioner, um, different types of soap if you want it, feminine products. Um, make sure you're stocking up on feminine products, especially if you're going. You know you're going to be on your period. Make sure you buy the stuff that you need or the stuff that you want. Um, that way your compartment doesn't run out. If there's a special soap that you want, make sure you, you buy it. Um, don't buy a lot of stuff to put in your personal drawer because you run out of room very quickly. I didn't have a bunch of stuff and I still ran out of room. So just be mindful of what you buy that you have to keep in your drawer um, because it's not a big drawer. It's probably the size of like um, I want to say it's a little bigger than eight and a half by 11 inches and it's only like two or three inches deep, maybe four inches deep. So it's not really big. Um, it's, you know, you don't get to keep a lot of stuff in there. Um, you get your phone, your first phone call the second week. Uh, I, I, make sure you have a phone card. Okay, go ahead and buy your phone card before you leave for boot camp. Um, that makes things a lot easier when it's already, you already have it, it's already activated. Um, get a $20 phone card. I got $10 and on the first phone call I ran out of money because no one wanted to answer the phone. So, um, like I called my mom once and I called my boyfriend five times and left him like four different messages. And made him feel really bad because it was like his girlfriend's trying to call him and he's not answering the phone so um, <laughs> so just just make sure you have enough money on there um, that's pretty much it as far as the second week um, so stay tuned for the third week a lot more stuff happens um, Granted, my third week was during Christmas, so I have a lot of stuff going on. So stay tuned. I have more videos. I might even start talking about A school because I'm at this point I'm a month in, which is exciting. Um, so I got a lot of stuff to talk about there. All right, stay tuned. <laughs>